There's five rules uh, regarding uh, emergency medicine, you, um, uh, first contact um, decisions on radiology, but the rules are very clear. They're, they're very binary. They answer the question, does this patient need radiographs or not? And sometimes, even if we're not working in the emergency department or not a first contact, uh, these rules are going to come in handy because we've all uh, experienced stories where uh, initial correct diagnoses were missed or incorrectly diagnosed. Um, so these, these basic rules come in valuable. So here's the five clinical decision rules about radiography that exists. So we have two about the neck, two about the knee, and one about the ankles. So for the neck, we have the Canadian cervical spine rule and the nexus or the National Emergency X-ray Utilization Study, which everyone just calls nexus. Uh, for the knees, we have um, the Ottawa knee rules and the Pittsburgh knee rules. And then for the ankle, we have the Ottawa ankle rules. But today I wanted to focus on the two um, cervical spine rules. Um, they are um, really, I guess, most important. I like to go over them um, to all students and uh, go over them a lot in all my fundamental um, imaging courses because if you miss a serious injury in the cervical spine, it can have dire consequences. So they're, they're good to um, teach, and they're great for us as experienced clinicians just to uh, revisit.